Hey, this is Red Nectar. I thought I would record a firmware upgrade on a ACI fabric here. So I've gone to admin. I'm going to go to firmware. Have a look at images, and I have already been through the process of adding firmware so that I have the APIC version. Uh, for version 6, APIC version 6.01G, and I have the switch for the Nexus 9000 version 16.01G that goes with it. So those have already been downloaded. I did need to uh, go through beforehand and uh, delete a couple of these earlier ones, uh, although I've now got the current one there and the one that I'm going to upgrade to. So I'm ready to go and I'm going to start with the controllers. I have only one controller in this lab environment, so there's not much to do except do the setup update. And we're going to update the controller first. We'll go for the release image, which is our version 6, and uh, click next. Goes through its validation checks. Because this is a lab environment and there is only a single APIC, I'm expecting it's going to come back with some kind of warning about that. Right, the validation checks took uh, a couple of minutes and uh, as I expected there'll be some sort of warnings. Uh, I've got two of them, few, few, fewer than two route reflectors because I have only one spine and uh, the rest of it seems to be okay so I'll click on next. And now I have this most annoying pop-up here that says, watch out. This is so unprofessional and so, it just really annoys me that somebody would put continue anyways on a professional system. However, I have to, you know, watch out, you know. Come on, Cisco. You must have got the apprentice to write this. So we're continuing now, and that process is going to replace the current version of firmware that's on the APIC, since we only have one APIC. The session that we're connected to the APIC with right now is going to have to reset. So somewhere along the line, uh, this web page is going to disappear. Let's see if we click on Begin Install, uh, how that's going to happen. Where's my progress? Where can I see that anything's going on? Ah, it's over here. I've got an installation queued. That's the status. So that's the only indication here. There's not much of a program, uh, you know, progress. I guess we just sit up here and wait for the APIC to reboot at some stage. 5%. Uh, it's been uh, a couple of hours since I've been here, so hopefully this will reload properly now. If not, it means that uh, something's a bit more serious wrong. Right, yeah, so here it goes. It's now got the new version. And uh, the welcome screen, of course. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, we've Got our APIC upgraded. The uh, next thing now is the switches. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting because I have an upgrade group, right? And that upgrade group already has the three switches that I have, one spine and two leads. But that's not best practices. So I'm going to change the way this works. Uh, I'm gonna delete this guy. I don't think it'll let me do another one first. Uh, probably here. No, actions. Delete upgrade group. Okay. At, uh, at least they don't ask me anyways here. All right, so now I don't have much choice except to create an upgrade group. I'm not doing an upgrade. I'm just creating an upgrade group. Uh, how I actually create an upgrade group without doing an upgrade, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, let's do it again. Odd switch underscore up 
Oops, see last time I did this, I wanted to upgrade, so it was fine, but I want to create these two groups. I'm going to add the switches. Um, okay, so I've got the switches there. I've got no option here to save and get out of here. I've just got to hit next, fine. Um, I have to choose. I can't do anything else. I can't click next. Um, installing activation patch, select firmware, silent roll package update. Um, well, looks like I'm going to have to select some firmware. All right, now next. I know about that next. This is as far as I got. Yes, okay, continue anyway. I don't want to begin download. I just want to create the upgrade group and do the download on. Well, clearly it's going to force me to begin the download, whether I want to or not. Um, um good, it's downloading. Right, so my other one is to create, I want to create the even switch. Even. Even switch upgrade group. I'm going to add switches. We've only got one even switch, so that's the only one left. So we'll do that. Okay. And uh, next. And we'll have this one. Thank you. And we'll go next. Um, right, so that's good. Next. And again, no choice except begin download. So that's fine, I guess, if it's just going to download the software to the switches. At this stage, I haven't um, started the upgrade, as far as I know. So I've got one scheduled, by the look of it. See what we're up to. It still says uh, downloading. Uh, I'm hoping somewhere along here I get a chance to actually say, well, uh, what I'd want to do is my even group first. Uh, and, and upgrading is not yet an option. So I'm, I guess I guess it is. It says it's downloading now. So well, before it was queued. Um, struggling to find a place where I can sort of see progress of this. You know, it'd be really nice to see a bit of progress, but uh, they have not decided that. That clearly is not an important thing to have. You know, it's fine just to leave us all in the dark. And. All their faults and events so we looked at that one before so so here we go just at this um well i guess we wait for this downloading to happen so when i did the control you know it's got this overall status here that was a little bit more interesting than when i go to switches there's nothing like that there just have this little oh well, well this one's finally ready to install okay so thank you cisco for the progress bar there that you didn't give us uh, but I actually want to do the even switch first, so I'll wait for that. And now that this is ready to install, I expect that I've got a, a an action somewhere to to do the install if I should want to. No, no, not there. So status still downloading. Not 50% or 80% or anything else, just downloading. Ready to install. Good, so they're ready to install, so let's install. <clears throat> uh, so, well, that's good. I clicked on that and it opened this up. So that's uh, interesting. You know, that's not terribly intuitive. Uh, so back here when I've got the controllers, I've got that kind of screen and I've got a setup update here. The switches, I've got to be clever enough to know to click on this to actually open it, which you'd think you'd be. No, it wasn't that. No, I had to click on ready to install. Oh, wow. That's intuitive. Uh, but that's not the group I want. Uh, this is the one that's ready to install. Why they couldn't put an install here, or, you know, surely, surely there should be an option here to have it. Uh, but anyway, it's not. I've got to click here. And then I imagine I. What do I. 
Regions thought says scheduled. I didn't ask it to schedule it yet. Um, and I imagine that I should be able to click here and say install. No, I don't want to delete. I want to, I want to install it. No, I'm ready to go. I haven't asked you to do any install. I just want you to install it. I haven't. Well, it says schedule, but I didn't schedule it. Um, this is a bit weird. Actions, maybe up here. Okay. Oh, begin install. Way up there. Yes, good. Oh, that's just that good. What a good idea to have an actions menu here and a totally different one up here. Oh, how obvious, Cisco. You really make this so good for the blind. All right. Okay, so I've said begin install. Uh, status breakdown, good. And installing at last. Fantastic. Copy an image. Oh, look at that. We're actually getting a bit of a graph here now. If you hold it, oh, you can't move it or anything. Now, why I have to hold my mouse over there to get that graph is just amazing. Again, not really intuitive. Before, it was just shown up there. Okay, so. So uh, we're getting something now. So it would seem that it's uh, finished that one now, and I don't really have much choice, so I'll go back, I suppose, close this. And um, it's still saying, yes, that was even switch, it's saying ready to install. It's not, so, oh, it's still saying installing here. No, uh, <clears throat> nothing else there. All right, and if I go back to it, uh, unreachable, okay, well I guess that's fair enough, it should be rebooting. Um, the normal thing I would want to do now is see that this thing comes back online. So to do that, I will go to my fabric, odd one, and wait for this, uh, this leaf to come back. Okay, so the switch is back up now, so we're ready to do the next upgrade. So let's go back to admin. Switches. We've done the even switches upgrade group. It says it's complete. Um, and we click on the totally unintuitive uh, link here that doesn't even say that it's a link that hey look at that it is a link uh, we make sure we ignore this actions menu because it doesn't say anything and remember that oh it's the action menu up here and I don't know that I even have to select it to, to just make it begin install um, to do the begin install and um, hopefully we'll see some stuff here and you've got to remember to hover over this and and now that will give us a little graph at some stage, I'm presuming. It did last time. Well, it seems we've got to a point where it says uh, unreachable here, so I guess that's fair enough. Uh, syncing image ready to install. So we I didn't get the nice uh, graph like we did on the um, when we just had a single leaf being upgraded. So this here is a leaf and this is the spine switch. So curious that we got two different results with two different uh, things. So Let's pop back here for a second, see what it says. That one's complete. This is still saying ready to install. Um, on our fabric, I'm guessing you see those two. Um, in fact, I probably don't see anything. Oh no, I can see the, that leaf there. Uh, that's good. And fabric membership is saying inactive, inactive, as I'd expect. So that'll take a while to come back. Odd one. Yeah, okay, so they're all active there. So it's just that screen. I uh, didn't bother updating.